guys welcome back to another video in this one i'm going to be showing you how i make my thumbnails so the first thing i'm going to do is open one of my most recent um gameplays and then i look for uh, look for a moment i want to screenshot so i'll go into this one Okay, I could do this. Okay, yeah, let's see what I can do with this. So I have um, this extension that's called, I, I forgot what it's called. Options. I don't know what it's called, but it lets me screenshot my pictures. I'll put a link to it in the description once I find out what it's called again. I think a light shot or Lightroom. And uh, copy this, then open Photoshop. Now that I have Photoshop open, I'm gonna press File. And let me just wait for this to refresh. File, New. And then I choose 1920 by 1280 by 720 not this one but this one you can just customize it but customize it by putting the dimensions in here and then press create and then I'm gonna paste my picture or image and press ctrl T and then hold shift and resize it to the canvas size. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, that's the base that's done. So what I'm gonna do first is get the polygon lasso tool and draw around the character. Let me just get the sword in on this one as well. This will take a while to do because you drag around the whole thing. So I'm just going to speed it up. Okay, so now I have drawn around what I want. I'm going to press Ctrl and J. It's going to make another layer. And then I'm going to press the bottom layer, then filter, then go to blur then set motion blur I put a minus 21 degrees and distance to whatever this one I'm just gonna see what happens to the background of the character then decide on where to put the motion blur okay I'm gonna do that and then add layer of Gaussian blur as well Let me do 2.0. Okay, that looks good. Then I'm gonna add two, two layers on top of this. And I'm gonna press M. That's gonna bring up this tool. I'm gonna draw around the whole canvas. Select fill, go to color, then press, make it black. And then to lay on top, I'm gonna go up and do like inside of this another one and then I'm gonna make it have those lines so it show, it's showing it's the right size press fill and make it black then I'm gonna merge the layers so control click it merge layers and I'm gonna press delete then go to this thing to change um, the blending mode I'm pressing overlay and double clicking it to change some of the effects I'm gonna make the stroke white 
Okay, that's black, white. And drop shadow, I'm gonna make that white as well. Actually, I like this black. Actually, I don't know. I'm just gonna play around a bit for now. Yeah, white is better. Okay, there we have it. That's the first part done. I'm gonna go to press T, go to text. I'm right, simple, cause this is gonna be the thumbnail for this video. And I'm gonna drag this down, put it below here, so it's behind the character. And then resize it while holding shift. And I'm going to add some effects to this as well. Contour. Stroke, make that black. Then just fizzle around with all the, of these settings. Control C, Control V. Then drag it down again. Drag this a little bit up. Oh, other layer. This one. Drag it up a little bit. Give this one some space so it looks just right. Okay, it makes sense if it's the other way around. Yeah, that's looking good. And then in some of my videos, I add speed lines. So I'm going to show you how you do that now. Okay, what the heck? Yeah, this is what I want. Then I paste it here. Go to the one tool. Select everything, press delete. Then go to blend mode, select what looks good. So I'm just do lighten for this. Press kind of control D to get those lines away. And I'm gonna drag it below all of this. And below this thing as well. And that's it, it's done. You're gonna press file, save. Save to your computer and then I'm gonna name it thumbnail and then that's the Photoshop file saved then you're gonna press save as good save on your computer select PNG because that's what YouTube thumbnails are and go to smaller saving file and you're done if this helped you, please give a like and subscribe. Yeah, bye-bye.